This is Knit and Crochet Together and I'm working on the Jersey Stitch Stocking Stitch Curtains and this is my blue yarn that the curtains are made out of. It's light, soft navy and I'm just going to show you a demo on how to do the Jersey Stitch. So this is how you cast on. Now you cast on a hundred stitches for a 34 to 35 inch window opening. I'm only going to do about 20 stitches. So I can just show you how the jersey stitch is done. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I'm using a size 10 uh, needle, needles, knitting needles for my curtain. But here I have a size 9 needle just to demonstrate how the jersey stitch is done. So I've got my 20 stitches casted on. And I'm just going to knit the first row. Make sure you don't pull it when you get to here. Just keep it steady. Just knitting across the row. You're going to have about 100 stitches, but I'm just doing 20 to demonstrate how the stitch is done. So here we go. We're knitting across this first row. If you want the uh, fancy stitches at the bottom, you just have to fiddle around with it and get whatever combination of stitches you want to make your bottom and do both sides the same for the jersey stitch curtains. So this is knitting. And then purling is just going the opposite direction. Instead of going this way up your needle, you're going to go this way toward you. Pull the string out like this. So you purl back. One row. If you want to see the demo of my curtains or the model of my curtains, go to Jersey Stitch. That's J E R S E Y Stitch curtain or curtains and I'll see the model of my jersey stitch curtains that are 100 stitches wide and now we purled across that row now we're just going to simply knit the next row so here we go knitting the next row So, the next row is going to be purled, and the next row is going to be knit, and the next row is going to be purled, and the next row is going to be knit, and that is how you make the jersey stitch. Look at the demo and the model of my curtain, and see if that's what you want to make for your windows. So, I'm knitting again across the row. And then I'm curling back. Put the needle in the front of the yarn to purl. And that's about it. Now on the bottom of my curtains, I made a design. I just alternated the knitting and the purling to make the design on the bottom of my curtains. As long as you make exactly the same design with your curtains as the other curtain you're making and they match, that should be just fine. <laughs> so.
So this is Knit and Crochet Together. That's the name of my channel. It's K-N-I-T-A-N-D-C-R-O-C-H-E-T-T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R. So this is turning out to be knit on this side and purl on this side. Now we're back to the knit row. You can tell you're on the knit row when you have the V's. So when you start to look at your material facing you and it has V's, then that's the knit side. So I'm knitting this row. So there we are on the knit side with the V's knitting. And then, of course, you purl back. When you're on the purl side, your work looks like this. That's the purl side. So when you get to the purl side, which I'm on right now, you purl. And that's the gist of it. So, if you want to find my curtains that I'm demonstrating the jersey stitch for, check it out. Just Google or Chrome. Jersey stitch curtain, or curtains. And I should go right to my curtain model and demo. This is Eve, knit and crochet together. Thank you.